Good morning, everybody. Today is April 1st. I'm actually doing my weigh in video on April 1st because I uh, couldn't do it yesterday. It was just too crazy around here yesterday. So I didn't do it. But I did weigh myself and I lost 2.8 pounds. I'm shocked. I'm surprised. And not because I, I think I ate bad because I know I really didn't. But I wasn't halfway through the week. I quit. And I do this all the time on Simply Filling. I quit counting the weeklies but I know when I do that I'm like very stingy and maybe I, I that's good to be because I lost but I had to and then see this week I'll say well I did pretty good last week I lost so I can have a little bit more so this week my goal is to count every weekly starting Saturday April 1st um, I didn't count anything Friday because it was busy and um, nothing was out of the unordinary as far as food went so I thought, you know, I'm not even going to go there. I'm just going to start on Saturday, and I'm going to make sure I count my stuff. So I'm back. I'm down to 244.2. I want to get to 239 to get out of the fours. I've been stuck in the 240s, 47 to 104 or 240, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and I'm over it. So we really need to get this. In gear um, I, I did get a CPAP machine I'm gonna go into that in another video so I don't want to go into that and um, that's helping me that's gonna help me you must watch the video about the CPAP because it's amazing um, yeah so I just wanted to put that out there that I I, I wanted to put my way in video out there because I know I haven't done it I done it last week and it was a gain very bad game that was for two weeks so I want to try to staying on track and doing these videos and keeping up with it keeps me on track so I know that next week next Friday I need to do another video and I want it to be good I don't want to come on here and so that you know what I'm saying that kind of keeps and we're all like that we're all in this boat together because it is a journey and um, if you watch our fat release when she looked up the word journey Watch that video because it'll make you think about it. It's her last video that she just put out. I can't remember the name of it. But, um, and you know, that got me thinking. That got me really thinking. She's absolutely right. You know, it's it's hard. It's a journey. And we have, but you have to keep going. As long as you don't give up, you will never be that fat person. Even though you're already fat, but you're never going to be that fat person. The one... Like, I think I'm up to 30-some pounds that I lost. That 30-pound extra heavy person. I am never going to be that fat person. I'm right now this fat person, but I'm not going to be that fat person. And that's not acceptable to stay doing that. But as long as I'm doing that and still working on it and going forward and losing, I will someday be down in the 30s or, the you know, the 230s. And I'm sure when I get to the low 230s, just like when I got to the low 250s, I went back and forth, back and forth with those five, seven pounds for a while. And it always, and it's going to happen towards the end of the year. You watch and see, because this is what happens to all of us. All of us have gotten stuck since the holidays to get our reverend, our engines revving to get back going. And, um... It, summer's coming. Spring is in the air. Summer's coming. And it's time to get up, get and move. Move, 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 move. Um, I am looking so forward to this summer. And I'm going to try to be more active this summer. Uh, you know, I live in Florida and it's very hot. So you're very limited to how much outside activity you can really do. For me, anyway, there's people that thrive on it. People that can deal with it. I cannot. Um, I have two camping trips set, one's in a the end of April, one's in June. Uh, I'm trying to work on more of that. That's a whole other video, too, about that. But this is about the weight journey we are on. We do not give up. Do not give up, my friends. Whatever you do, you don't give up. You need to take a break a few days, fine. You want to have a pity party for yourself for a day or two? fine but pick yourself up by your big girl panties and get the job done don't put on any more than the five pound 
difference. Do not put on, if you lost 40 pounds, do not go past five pounds. Get on the stick. Because if you don't, it will roll into 10 pounds. It'll roll into 15 pounds. That's your warning sign. That's, the, that's how I do it with me. That is your siren going off saying, oh, you're in the danger zone. <laughs> um, I hope this helps and inspires everybody. And I know that a lot of the, our friends up north have been stuck in the house. And a lot of all your, been watching a lot of your videos. And a lot of it, I can see outside looking in, you have a lot of the winter blues. You're over it. You're over it. You're done. You've had enough. Spring is coming. When it does, you get your tennis shoes, your walking shoes, your hiking boots, and you get out there. That alone is going to make you feel better. And then everything will just fall in place. That's how it works. You just have to keep going, though. Perseverance never fails. <laughs> I'm going to go because I don't want this to be a long-winded video. And I do have some things I need to do today. And I am going to be making a couple more videos today about my journey. And, um... Yeah, so um, got some updates and stuff coming. So look out for those videos. And oh, and my CPAP video. I'm going to do that one on the way out. I have stuff I got to do, and I'm going to do that one in the car. That I'm, I'm not trying not to make it a big long one either. I can ramble, I can get on a soapbox. <clears throat> all righty, I'm going to go. I will talk to you all later. You have a great Saturday afternoon. And remember, do not give up. Don't give up. I'll talk to y'all soon.